We're speaking this afternoon with David Kong, President and CEO of Best Western Hotels and Resorts. David, in 2015, Best Western Hotels and Resorts took a bold move looking to re-image itself by having new logos and now we're seeing it everywhere. I'm wondering, how is the feedback and how is it being leveraged by membership? Uh, the feedback has been tremendous and we were initially a little concerned because with logo changes sometimes consumers or customers may not like it but in our case it's been overwhelmingly positive and people look at the logo and say wow that's fresh that's contemporary and it, it so it appears the logos are very much achieving our objective which is to make our brand more contemporary and more exciting and more fresh. Where are you in terms of BW, BW Plus, BW Premier in rolling out all of this? How far along are you? Okay, uh, we would have about a thousand hotels implementing new signs by June of this year. Oh, actually, uh, in a couple months. And we're already seeing um, about 400 hotels implemented the sign, but in the next couple of months, it'd be up to a thousand. And we have just recently started our TV campaign. We just started last week. And so you, you'll be able to see our new logo on the TV campaign as well. Oh, excellent. Best Western Hotels and Resorts turned 70 this year. And when it started back in 1946, there was only one brand. Now you're up to seven. Um, how are you in terms of growth for each of, the, each of the seven brands? Can you give us a little bit of a snapshot? Yeah, we, we have about 15 in North America only, about 1,200 uh, Best Western Hotels and over 800 Best Western Plus Hotels and about 40 Premier Hotels and there's a tremendous pipeline of probably up to 300, uh, 300 uh, hotels coming in for these brands. The Best Western um, Plus executive residency is also ramping up very nicely. We would have about 30 some hotels in short order. Uh, Vibe and Glow also has gotten tremendous attraction. We have uh, seven approved applications for Vibe domestically and another seven internationally. Uh, Glow, we also have seven approved applications, so that's ramping up very nicely, I think. On top of it, the BW Premier Collection has about 30-some open hotels already, so our soft brand is doing very well as well. Vibe and Glow came out at about the same time that other major industry players were releasing new brands. There's a lot of new brands on the market. How are you differentiating Vibe and Glow so that consumers don't get confused and they, they understand that was a Vibe I stayed at or that was a Glow I stayed at and not some competitors? Okay, well that's a good question. And basically Vibe and Glow were launched to capitalize on a void in the marketplace. If you look at boutique brands in our industry, there's really no boutique brands that's in a mid-scale segment. So Vibe was uh, initially launched to capitalize on the upper mid-scale void for boutique brands, and it's designed for urban markets, and subsequently we launched Glow, which is designed for suburban markets, aim again to fill a void in the mid-scale segment for boutique brands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Best Western Hotels and Resorts has also said, and just really started to implement this, that it would do a 360-degree immersive consumer experience and something that it's actually going to tandem with with Disney Channel. Um, how is that going, and, and what's the expectation for that? Okay. In one month's time, all our hotels follow assets will be converted to the, the virtual reality experience. And it's, it's a project that we undertook along with Google, who, who is a leader in, in that space. We initially partnered with Google to do the uh, photo bubbles for our hotels, and it's been very well received, and now this is the next logical step.